In this lesson, we're going to be multiplying polynomials. So we have a binomial x plus 2, or a quantity x plus 2 times another quantity x plus 3. All right, so I want a common acronym that we're going to see here is the word FOIL. Okay, F-O-I-L. What I'm going to do is FOIL, the first. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply by first two terms first term on this quantity and the first term of this quantity. So x times x and I get x squared. Next is outer. Okay, I'm going to take my two outer quantities. x times 3. So the two outer most numbers. x times 3 is positive plus 3x. Next is my inner. Okay, my two inner terms are the positive 2 and the x here. So positive 2 times x is positive 2x. And then lastly, are my last terms is positive 2 times positive 3, which gives you a positive 6. One last step here, if you guys recognize, there's two terms in the middle that are both like terms. So I'm going to combine those, x squared plus... 3x plus 2x is 5x plus 6. FOIL is most commonly used. You could also just look at this as you're taking the first term here and you're multiplying it by both terms in the second binomial. Then you're taking the second term in the binomial and you're multiplying it by both terms in the second quantity as well. All right, so I'll take the first term in the first quantity, multiply by both terms in the second quantity. Take the second term in the first quantity and multiply by both terms in the second quantity. Let's take a look again. The next, the next example. So again, I'm going to take my first term and multiply by both terms in the second quantity. X times X, X squared. X times 4, positive 4X. Now that I've finished my first term, I'm going to go to my second term. Negative 5 times the first number, negative 5 times the second number. Negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 4, negative 20. Always go back, combine like terms. So I have x squared, positive 4x minus 5x is minus 1x, or just minus x, minus 20. All right, let's step it up a little bit. We have 2x plus 5, the quantity 2x plus 5 times the quantity x minus 6. All right, so now I have a coefficient here, so just watch your coefficient. So again, the first term by the first term, first term by both two terms here. So 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times negative 6, negative 12x. All right, moving on to my second term in my first quantity, positive 5 times x, and then positive 5 times negative 6. Positive 5 times x, positive 5x. Positive 5 times negative 6, negative 30. Combine like terms where you can, 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. Okay, let's keep going. 3x squared, I'm sorry, 3x, the quantity 3x minus 7 times the quantity 2x plus 8. So now we have co leading coefficients in both of these first terms. So 3x times 2x, 3x times positive 8. 3x times 2x. 6x squared plus 3x times 8, 24x. Second term by both terms. Negative 7 times 2x, negative 14x. Negative 7 times 8, negative 56. Combine like terms. 6x squared plus 10x minus 56. couple more examples. All right, now we have a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. Okay, so same concept. I'm going to take this first term here and multiply by all three terms in this trinomial. x times x squared, x cubed. x times positive 2x, positive 2x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. First term's done. Second term. Positive 4 times x squared, positive 4 times 2x, 
positive 4 times negative 3. So one, one, one at a time. So positive 4 times x squared is positive 4x squared. Positive 4 times positive 2x is positive 8x. Positive 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Combine like terms where you can. x cubed does not combine with anything. There's no other cubes. It stays the way it is. Positive 2x squared, positive 4x squared. Gives me a positive 6x squared. Negative 3x, positive 8x. It's going to be a positive 5x. And negative 12 combines with nothing. There's no other like terms. So x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x minus 12. Okay, let's look at another one. Again, same concept, except this one I put a coefficient in front. First number in the first quantity multiplied by the three numbers with three terms in the second quantity. So 2x times 3x squared. 6x squared. 2x times 4x. Positive 8x. 2x times negative 7. Negative 14x. Oh, sorry, this one should have been 8x squared. 6x squared, I'm sorry, 6x, let's go back one more time on this one. So 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 2x times 4x, 8x squared, and 2x times negative 7, negative 14x. Negative 1 times 3x squared, negative 3x squared. Negative 1 times 4x, negative 4x. Negative 1 times negative 7, positive 7. Like terms. 6x cubed by itself. Rewrite it. I have positive 8x squared and negative 3x squared. So plus 5x squared. I have negative 14x, negative 4x, negative 18x, and then plus 7. Okay, a few more examples. Let's change it up a little bit. So now these are special products. Okay, here's the parent form of these products. So you have the a plus b squared. Okay, so this could be uh, x plus 5 squared. It could be uh, x minus 5 squared. So any, anything in this format is a special product. Okay, and now what this is saying is you have two quantities of the same quantity. So a plus b times the quantity a plus b. Okay, so if you distribute this or FOIL this is what they say, a times a is going to give me a squared. A times B is going to give me positive AB. Going on with the second term now. B times A is the same thing as A times B, which is going to be plus AB. And B times B is going to be plus B squared. So if I simplify this, I'm going to have A squared plus 1AB plus 1AB is equal is the same thing as saying plus 2AB combining like terms plus b squared. So knowing this and memorizing this will help you tremendously in algebra, algebra 2, and all the other subjects you're going to use, okay, rather than foiling these through. Eventually you should be able to do some of these mentally, which will be a nice time saver for you. The bottom one is very similar, okay, so here you have the quantity a minus b times the quantity a minus b, foiling this out, a times a, a squared. A times negative b is negative ab. Negative b times a, which is the same thing as a times negative b, is again negative ab. And negative b times negative b is going to be plus b squared. Combine like terms here and you get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So the biggest difference here is that middle term. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So let's take these and let's see how we can apply them. So here's our first one, x minus 6 squared. So we just said that the quantity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Well if you look at this, a is my x and b is my negative 6. 
All right, so if we think about this here, a squared. So I'm going to write this out one more time. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now again, this is just one's tactic. You can foil this out, and we'll do that in a second as well. So a squared. So a is really my x. So I have x squared minus 2 times a, which a is x, times negative 6, which is my b, plus negative 6 squared. Okay, so all I did was substitute in the variables for the a and b here. So here we have x squared, which is simply just going to be x squared. Negative 2 times x times negative 6. I'm sorry, this is going to be positive 6. Sorry about that. And Okay, so my b is 6 here. So negative 2x, negative 2 times x times 6 is going to be negative 12x, and then plus 6 squared, which is 36. So let's see if this holds true. Let's just foil this out. So again, x minus, the quantity x minus 6 squared represents x minus 6 times the quantity x minus 6. We're going to FOIL, okay, the first term by the next two terms. So x times x is going to give me x squared. x times negative 6 is negative 6x. My second term now, negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Combine like terms, so you have x squared minus 12x plus 36 and both should check off. Okay, let's take a look at a few more. So you have 2x minus 4 squared. So again, we're going to use the same formula here. So a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, where here a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 4. So if I want to plug in, this is 2x squared minus 2 times 2x times 4 plus 4 squared. So 2x squared is actually 4x squared minus 2 times 2, 2 times 2x is 4x minus times 4 is 16x plus 16. Let's foil it out and make sure this is all correct. So 2x minus 4 times the quantity 2x minus 4. And let's see what I get. So I get 2x times 2x, and I get 4x squared. 2x times negative 4, I get negative 8x. Let's go to my second term. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Let's combine like terms. So 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 and both check off. Again, once you memorize this this format for these special products, you can simply jump to this step right away and you don't have to foil it out. But first, I would in the beginning I would take your time and just foil it out and make sure you get the hang of it. Let's take a look at two more examples. So now I have variables and coefficients in both of these. All right, so 2x squared plus 3y and this is the other format of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So here a represents my 2x, b is my 3y. So this is 2x squared plus 2 times 2x times 3y, which is my b, plus 3y squared. Okay, so again, I, what I did was substitute in for my a and my b's here. So my first term, 2x squared is actually 4x squared. Here I have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so plus 12xy plus 3y squared is going to be 9y squared. Let's do it out, let's foil it out, let's do it the wrong way. Let's check our math, let's check our mental math here. So quantity 2x plus 3y, 
plus the quantity 2x plus 3y. First term by the last two, 2x times 2x, I get 4x squared, plus 2x times 3y is 6xy. Let's go to my second term now, 3y times 2x plus 6xy again. Okay, x times y and y times x is the same thing by commutative property. So I'm just going to keep them in the same order so I can see that visually these are like terms. And then 3y times 3y plus 9y squared. Here you get 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. So again, just to repeat this part here, when I, when I multiply 3y by, two, uh, 3y by 2x, Rather than writing 6yx, and I already have a 6xy, I'm going to write these in the same order because it's all multiplication. Except visually, when I see a 6xy and another 6xy, it's a little easier to identify. Um, sometimes visually, we just fly through that and we don't we, we, we don't see that they're both like terms. So again, the habit of writing them in the alphabetical order or something that's going to be easier for you to identify. All right, and one more. So the quantity 3x minus 5, the quantity 3x plus 5. So 3x times 3x. Okay, so this one is not, doesn't have that special product. This is actually another special one. We'll get to that in the, in the next lesson. Let's see what happens here, though. Okay, so they're both the same with the exception of the middle signs. Okay, so 3x times 3x, we get 9x squared. 3x times 5, we get positive 15x negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x and negative 5 times positive 5 is going to be negative 25 let's combine like terms where we can so we have 9, 9x squared positive 15x and negative 15x so these simplify minus 25 